El Paso ISD is making changes to their district redesign plan ahead of tomorrow's Board of Trustees meeting where they could schools that may be on the chopping block. Good evening everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News Now. I'm Monica Cortez. Now the original list of 10 schools that were announced at a special board meeting last month has now been reduced to just eight. Our Jesus Baltasar is live in South Central El Paso looking into these changes. Jesus, what have you been able to gather so far? Well, Monica, I'm here at Burleson Elementary School, which you'll see behind me, the building still standing over five years after El Paso ISD decided to close it down. Now, if you take a look behind me, you'll see this is where city, county officials, three uh, El Paso ISD trustees gathered to advocate that El Paso ISD delay any decision and even postpone these closures until more information is taken into account. This is even after... The district just provided an update in terms of changes to their redesign plan. Ahead of Tuesday's board, board of Trustees meeting, El Paso ISD removed Hillside Elementary from the list of schools that may be on the chopping block, and Edgar Park Elementary will instead remain open for at least a year before it is relocated in 2026. That leaves just eight schools that could still be closed down, six of which would be shut down as soon as next year while Stanton and Travis Elementary would remain temporarily open until 2026 before getting axed. Now, Paso ISD says these updates reflect community feedback and additional data analysis. But El Paso ISD trustee Jack Loveridge, who led Monday afternoon's press conference, says the updates aren't enough. The proposal was to close 20% of our elementary schools. We're working our way down, um, and I like that progress. I just want to make sure that the schools that are serving the, the most, um, well, the lowest income students in our district, the lowest income communities in our district are well served by that uh, proposal. In a news release sent out Monday afternoon, El Paso ISD stressed that these actions must be taken in order to address their projected $32 million deficit and to avoid severe consequences such as workforce reductions, program cuts, and classroom impact. Now, representatives and advocates here, however, argued that these closures will severely damage these respective communities, just like it did here by Burleson, and argue that these measures aren't even going to have the cost-saving impacts that they believe on their budget deficit. Now, coming up at 6, I'll dive deeper into what was said by representatives and advocates at this press conference. For now, reporting from South Central El Paso, Jesus Baltasar, back to you. Jesus, thank you so much for that report. Over the past months, parents, advocates, and even district officials have been calling on the district to postpone a decision until their equity audit report is taken into account and that the El Paso ISD board president, Israel Irobali, recuses himself from voting.